The Fort Cherry School District has a universal vision that integrates technology into our classes and our curriculum. The vision is that of our administrators, school board members, our technology director and coach, our guidance department, media department, and all the faculty and staff. Overall, the teachers and students are seeing a change where real, true, authentic learning is certainly taking place. We are focused on providing a 21st century learning environment and atmosphere for our students every day. We would like to share this with you with a brief look into some of our classes and even comments from our teachers and students on how we use technology here. Hi, I'm Nancy Leskovitz. I teach third grade at Fort Cherry Elementary Center. I enjoy incorporating technology into my classroom procedures. The third graders learn at their own pace. They learn what I would like for them to learn in many different ways. This generation is the second, maybe third generation of digital natives. They are in tune to what technology has to offer them. I like it because we can work individually and we won't have to wait for to take turns and we can go our own pace on the computer. I like going on the computers rather than just normal schoolwork because we can go as fast as we can instead of just working working at the teacher's pace so we can like move faster than the other people so it's pretty much fun going at our own pace previously i taught sixth grade and in sixth grade we use the technology available to us on a daily basis here in third grade introducing them to the laptops, to the overhead screen, and eventually into the smart board has offered them a glimpse into the future and what will be expected of them as they progress through their elementary and senior high school years. Our sixth grade students have just completed a project that dealt with African storytellers called griots in African art, which we reflected in masks. Each student created a mask in art class with specific characteristics. They also designed and created and told their story that went with the mask. And they did this along the lines of how an African griot would tell a story. In the past, this is all we would have done with this project. Since we have added technology, we have now uh, included a second option or second added assessment where the students created a photo story project. They used a digital camera to photograph their mask. They imported this into a photo story project. Within their mask story, they had their picture taken three times, uh, created different motions and angles, sometimes different effects, and then they told their story over these three pictures. Uh, I really like this project because we weren't just sitting at our desks doing worksheets and reading from a workbook and we actually got to make masks and do hands-on things. I liked it because we got to do it on the computer and we could do it individually without having like have someone stand over our shoulder and tell us every, everything that we had to do. I liked how we started by making a mask in art class and taking it to social studies to put it into another project for a grade. The finished project uh, was a group project of five mass stories uh, told by the students, showing their original artwork and hearing their original stories. Technology, I think, has impacted the Fort Cherry School District, in particular the Fort Cherry Tutoring Program, which I run the reading program here. It has really been helpful for us in the Teen Biz program that we use in order to help um, students learn more about how to tackle a PSSA test. 
um, this teen biz program that was illustrated the other day does um, show us specifically how students use the computers to read, um, to write summaries, or rather type summaries, um, get them checked by me, and then take quizzes and do thought questions um, that really impacts what they learn. Um, and not only do I really like it because they learn and they find their immediate response very quickly of whether or not they pass the test or not, I can also see this is what their strength is or this is what their weakness is. I like this way better because the old way the teacher would give you an article and if you really didn't like the article you really didn't pay attention and read it and it answered the questions but on this you pick the ones you like and most kids nowadays like to be on the computer so it keeps us quiet and on, ta on task and not give the teacher a hard time during class and you learn more than you do by sitting in a desk and chair. All right, read for me your first art summary that you wrote. In the first paragraph, it talks about the Great War, which is known also as World War I, and how they received un how the co colonial soldiers received unfair treatment. That's right. And why is this being talked about? What do they want to do in this article? Make uh, make a museum for the soldiers that everyone forgot. Right, so you want to add that on to your summary right there. The ED performance also that we were showing the other day too also lets me see specifically um, what areas in reading need to be addressed as well as what areas they do much better in. And so as a result, I love using that as well as the Promethean board because the students, I feel, truly want to be engaged in such an activity and as a result their scores become better and as a result can exit tutoring um, in a much shorter time. Technology has helped me improve my teaching because the Promethean board allows me to be more organized for each of my lessons. Instead of wasting time by having to put the problems on the board as we do them, I already have them prepared before the lesson starts. So there's no time wasted and I'm allow it allows me to cover more material in one period. Technology has helped my students because I, my students used to be C, D, F students possibly and now most of my students are A, B students and I um, contribute most of that to the technology in the classroom. Okay, Some of it comes from our classroom work that we do collaboratively and then when they get on the computers they can work at their own pace and that is a huge deal. Instead of staying with the class and doing everything that every other student is doing, they get to do what they're capable of doing at the pace that they're capable of working. So every student is on a different lesson, a different problem at any moment in time when they're on the computers. So. I like cognitive tutor because before I was a B student, but now I'm an A student because I have more practice on cognitive tutor. I like cognitive tutor because it's fun to be able to go on the computer and do your math work and you could go on the Promethean board and it's fun to do that too. It's better than just doing paperwork the whole time. That is the biggest contribution of technology in my classroom for my students. My major focus in advanced biology is primarily anatomy and physiology and instead of just having students memorize parts and describe how they work this technology allows us to actually use it as a functional application and see what really goes on with the body and on top of that actually collect data, make comparisons and actually analyze what really happens. Hi, I'm Katie and I'm here with two of my fellow classmates, Melissa and Shane and we are going to show you how we are using some of our new technology in our advanced biology class. Here Shane's holding an example of our veneer software. Our veneer can measure the force of your grip like Lulu's going to demonstrate here. As she puts pressure and grips onto the hand dynamometer, it's going to measure her force in the grip. In this video you have seen some of our integration of technology in our classes. We are committed to staying current and hope to grow even more in our efforts. Thank you for watching.